the alleged assault by a legal practitioner, Professor Zainab Abiola on her police orderly, Inspector Teju Moses, have continued to attract widespread condemnation across the country. Professor Abiola was alleged to have assaulted her police orderly on Tuesday, 20th September 2022, at her residence in Abuja, following refusal to carry out menial and domestic chores. Reacting on the development, a coalition of civil society organizations at a news conference described the act as an inhuman treatment, violation of the law and an abysmal discrimination faced by many Nigerian employees by their employers. The founding director, Women's Aid Collective, Joy Ezelu, however commended the Nigerian police force for its prompt response and demanded that perpetrators of inhuman acts be brought to book in the interest of justice. We maintain at all times that torture, inhuman acts, degrading treatment and punishment constitute violation of constitutionally enshrined rights. And there is a state responsibility to protect, to prevent, and to respect. The full weight of the law must be brought to bear on the perpetrators who abuse their authority and privilege with impunity. Feeder want to assure the victim and the, and the public of its readiness to ensure that justice is being served. We say zero tolerance to violence of any kind to man, woman, child, youth, boy or girl and we hope that this will serve as a deterrent and that people who commit this crime, no matter how highly placed you are, will be brought to book. In her remarks, the country director Action Aid, NAOB, who also faulted the use of violence irrespective of provocation, called on the Nigerian police force to as a matter of urgency review the legal and administrative parameters under which police officers are deployed to important personalities. This is a time we will call on the IGP and all other forces that to look at the individuals that they are assigning the, 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 the security forces to and also conduct an assessment, yes, you know, to see who are they, state in clear terms, the roles and responsibilities as orderlies and special duty officers assigned to private citizens, including celebrities and high net award executives, set up a panel to conduct a survey to assess, in do an assessment on how officers assigned to private citizens are being treated. They also want the police to carry out thorough investigation into the matter and make public the culpability of the suspect as well as ensure prosecution. Palang Booker, CNN News.